We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. The Marcos administration focuses on streamlining the food distribution processes. In particular, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. wants to address the logistics problem as he believes it is the one key to lowering of food prices in the country. In a cabinet meeting, Marcos cited the complaints of forwarders and cargo handlers on policies imposed by local government units. He also said the presence of many checkpoints adds to the bottleneck in food distribution. Interior Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr. plans to discuss the issues with the chiefs of the Philippine National Police and the Department of Trade and Industry on the possible revival of express lanes for food trucks carried out during the lockdown period. Applying technology to address the problems such as tracking delivery of agricultural products to identify bottlenecks. He added, areas who produces good harvest should be identified so their products may be brought to locations experiencing food shortage. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. expressed hope for an improved cooperation between the Philippines and the United States. In a meeting with U.S. congressional delegation headed by Senator Edward Markey at the Malacanian Palace, Marcos said he wants to strengthen Manila's cooperation with Washington in the field of economics, energy, and agriculture. The two countries also sought to improve cooperation to combat illegal drugs. The U.S. government has been among the Philippine government's strong partners in terms of aid and support. Two warehouses owned by a Chinese-Filipino sugar trader in Bulacan were raided by the Bureau of Customs operatives as part of the government's campaign against suspected sugar hoarders. Acting on orders from Executive Secretary Attorney Vic Rodriguez, the Customs Intelligence and Investigation Service and the BOC's Enforcement and Security Service raided a warehouse owned by Victor Chua. An estimated 25,000 to 30,000 sacks of sugar were found in the first warehouse located in Barangay Caipian, San Jose del Monte. His other warehouse, still in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, was also inspected where about 42,733 sacks of sugar or roughly 2,150 metric tons worth 215 million pesos were found. Chua was given 15 days to present the necessary documents and other evidences on why they should not face prosecution. The joint BOCDA raid was based on information that the warehouse owned by Chua has been storing hoarded sugar allegedly aimed at raking huge profits from the current high sugar prices in the market. A possible smuggling of over 7,000 metric tons of sugar from Thailand was averted at the Subic port in Zambales. 19 crew members of the cargo vessel MV Bangkapau were taken under the custody of the Bureau of Customs or BOC. The cargo ship was found to be loaded with 7,021 metric tons of white sugar from Thailand with a total tax payment valued at over 45 million pesos. The consignee of the smuggled sugar is Oro Agritrade Incorporated under the account of ARC Refreshments Corporation. Customs Intelligence and Investigation Service Officer in Charge Joffrey Tasho said the cargo was initially allowed to discharge its load using the recycled permit from an old allocation. The Office of the Executive Secretary meanwhile said this practice can be considered as economic sabotage. And that is the latest from the PNA Newsroom. Stay tuned for more updates on the biggest stories throughout the day. I am William Theo. Good day, everyone.